Daddy's Home 2? Who even asked for this? I mean, the first one sucked, so we know this one's gonna suck, right? What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new comedy sequel from a first film that wasn't good, and apparently we're just getting another sequel for it that, again, we didn't ask for. That is Daddy's Home 2. Directed by Sean Anders, he directed the first Daddy's Home, and of course you got Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell back in this film, and then you have new additions to the cast, including Mel Gibson and John Lithgow. This movie's all about Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell's family collaborating and hanging out for the Christmas holiday until Mel Gibson and John Lithgow, both Wahlberg and Ferrell's father, show up for Christmas. And that's where things go completely downhill. This is where families need to be rebuilded and have a great holiday season. They all have different personalities. Mel Gibson's a straight up douche father. And John Lithgow, he has a high personality just like Will Ferrell. And this is yet another Daddy's Home sequel. Now I heard the first Daddy's Home was really bad, so I didn't have high expectations going into this sequel. But I was just hoping that it would at least be funny and have new additions, Mel Gibson and John Lithgow. Both are very great actors, and so walking out of this movie, it's exactly like the first one apparently. It's not a good comedy at all. Nothing about this movie was just refreshing or funny about it. I mean, everything about this film was exactly what I was expecting from the trailers. Just an unfunny, total waste of a talented cast, and just nothing refreshing or new. So, Let's go to the quick positive section for Daddy's Home 2. I would say I only laughed twice. Yeah, twice. And there were funny jokes. Plus this cast I really do like. I love the additions of Mel Gibson and John Lithgow. They're both actors I really like. And Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. They do have some good chemistry together since they both were in The Other Guys. They just bring a likability to them even though their characters are unlikable. Just the actors in general are likable people. Now this is where we go to the negative section. So let's talk about the first problem I had with this film. It's the characters. The way that they're written is just god awful. Mel Gibson's character especially. My god. There's nothing funny about this guy at all. He's extremely unlikable from the start. They try to make him like this really handsome, like, douchebag father that the girls are attracted to. He goes on dates with women at bars. It's like, this is a father figure we've seen many times before. Nothing new. John Lithgow, too, is really weird in this film. I mean, seeing him kiss Will Ferrell, like, really? Again, it's nothing about these characters that resonated with me at all. Plus the love interest, the kids are trying their best, just nothing about the characters in this film worked. The script is so easy to write, it's poorly written, the jokes aren't even well thought out, and just have these characters say the most random jokes possible to try to make you laugh. And apparently the theater that I went to, my theater was laughing, I was like, there's nothing funny about these jokes at all. Like. Really? I could see that the actors were trying their very best with the source material that they were given, but really, if you're given a script for a poor first movie, you just know that this movie's not going to be good at all. Just felt like these actors took a paycheck and tried their very best. And it also kind of felt like a straight to DVD movie, a straight to on demand type of film. Just, I really don't like those kind of films at all. They're just made effortlessly, and that's what this film felt like to me. In the end, guys, there's nothing really much else to say. Daddy's Home 2 is a poor sequel. Don't see it. It's a waste of time. You can see better Christmas films than this. Just go in with expectations that you know this one's going to be bad, so why even bother seeing it? On my rating scale, I'm giving Daddy's Home 2 a 1 out of 5 stars. If you want to watch a good Christmas movie starring Will Ferrell, watch Elf. Does someone need a hug? Ah! 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 
I just wanted a hug. All right, guys, that was my review for Daddy's Home 2. Have you guys seen it yet? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it like I did? Let me know down below. I just uploaded my review for Murder on the Orient Express. Go check out that review if you want to hear my thoughts on it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below, as well as links to my Patreon and Snapchat. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!